But no guilt by association list would be complete unless I mentioned one of the biggest hypocrites to jump on the smear bandwagon. A guy who is a friend and regular guest of fanboys named Nick Ricada. He's like if someone made a video game character with a slider for charisma set to zero. Nick Ricada personally helped spread the lies that caused me damages. When someone makes false claims about you that causes damages, that's one of the criterias that meet the legal threshold for defamation. Here's what he had to say about my claims of defamation. Maddox, buddy, defamation is only defamation if it's not true. Everything sent to Harry's was true. Someone on your network dropped the M-bomb on live air, and last I checked, we live in an age where that's not okay. This is Nick Ricada. Well, Nick, last time I checked, we live in an age where that's not okay. I know my delivery wasn't as smug, but I tried. Nick, along with Fanboy, has been stalking and harassing me for years. For example, despite blocking him, he followed me around on the internet and left comments on my YouTube videos. And then when I blocked his account, he used another account to spam more, which is the definition of harassment. In fact, he knows this because he said it himself. He even made legal threats when other people do it to him, saying, I have asked you to stop contacting me, and continuing to do so may be a violation of the law. And yet, he stalked me online and even left comments on other people's YouTube videos when I so much as had a cameo appearance in one. Then in September of 2018, I did a live stream on YouTube where Nick followed me there yet again and started his harassment like usual. So I finally acknowledged him. Here's uh, Rickietta Law for $5. Maddox, buddy, will you come on my show? I don't <laughs> know this guy. He follows me around everywhere. By the way, here's what I do know about this guy. He's a blackface lawyer. He paints himself in blackface. So yeah, I'm not, I don't want to talk to you, dipshit. I don't want anything to do with you. Fuck off. I made myself very clear that I didn't want him to contact me. The first four times I blocked him. If you block someone and they keep contacting you, that's harassment. So what did he do this time after I personally and directly told him not to contact me again? He sent me a letter to my fucking house, Sycamore. threatening to sue me for defamation because I called him a blackface lawyer. Nick Ricada, the free speech lawyer, threatening to sue me for my speech. Nick Ricada, everyone. In that letter, he claimed I made several false allegations that amounted to defamation because I called him a stalker and a blackface lawyer. But he insists that he has never practiced law in blackface, which is an interesting distinction to make. So apparently, sometimes he's in blackface, and sometimes he practices law, but he has never practiced law while in blackface. Got it. Nick asked me for either a public apology or to come on his live stream with him. I don't want to do his live stream because it seems like a vehicle for him to promote himself. Also, I suspect that he actually doesn't care that he was called a blackface lawyer because he publicly tweets things like, I'm never not in blackface. And to come full circle, he even did a podcast with the very person who said the N-word from earlier in this section, where Nick was presented with a blackface lawyer doll in his likeness. Mm, ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He didn't sue any of these people for defamation, so I have to conclude that he doesn't care and he made the legal threat to either try to silence me or to force me into doing an interview with him. To me, that seems like extortion, but I'm not a legal expert, so I have to assume Nick sincerely wanted an apology because stalking, harassment, and extortion are definitely crimes and could cost Nick his license to practice law. That would be a terrible thing if he lost his license due to stalking and harassment. But since Nick wanted a public apology, I'm gonna give it to him. I want everyone who may have watched or heard me call Nick Ricada a blackface lawyer one time during a live stream in 2018 at the 1 hour and 47 minute mark in a 2 hour and 45 minute interview to know that I sincerely apologize. In fact, I went ahead and registered the domain Nick Ricada is not a blackface lawyer.com so you can help me right this wrong and spread my apology. I want to let as many people as possible know that he is not a blackface lawyer, especially his clients who may have had an adverse opinion of Nick based on what I said one time during a live stream in 2018. I want them to know that I didn't mean to imply that he was a lawyer who practiced law while in blackface. To anyone who may have thought that, my apologies. 
Although, it would seem to me that his clients would be more concerned with the fact that Nick has discussed their pending legal cases in public, like the time he said he had to convince a judge to overlook his client's deadline. Or the fact that his friend tagged him in a tweet announcing that he's going to masturbate to illustrated child porn. Everyone wants to fuck 17 year olds. I would think that's way worse, but what do I know? I'm not a blackface lawyer. And neither is Nick. But what I do know is that Nick and Fanboy's smear campaign against me was based entirely on a lie and has caused me damages. And if you had any doubt about how disingenuous their supposed outrage was about the N-word, Nick Ricada is now friendly with the person who said it. Um, he's talking about me. I said the N-word uh, on live air. Of course, it was in the pizza fund. It was behind a paywall and it wasn't, nobody was hurt by it. The guy I said it to or said about it, he said he didn't care. Nick Ricada, thank you so much. Have a good one, Nick. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks. You should be horrified. So all the theatrics and pearl clutching bullshit was a transparent effort to incite a mob to get them to attack my sponsors. And now I have actual damages from their lies, which Nick Ricada helped spread. Maddox and that. Oh, Maddox. Maddox is Maddox. 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 Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.